How to embed Substack subscription form to Squarespace. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you step by step uh, how to actually embed the subscription form from Substack to your Squarespace website. It's just going to be a lot more professional to have it that way. You know, instead of actually sending out um, the uh, subscription form to each person with uh, you know it's just going to be from substack it's not going to be uh any you know more professional but if you want to have it to your website it's just going to be a lot better uh and we can do so very simply so i'm just going to take you through these steps needed to go ahead and do all of this so obviously you would want to have a substack account this is very obvious but you would also need to set it up completely. So make sure you go through the steps of setting up your Substack account. Make sure it's up and running. It's good to go and everything uh, is uh, all set. Once you are in your Substack homepage uh, or, you know, you you have just logged into your Substack. Basically, you will need to go to the uh, top right where you will find your profile picture. Go to writer dashboard, uh, which will take us to settings for that specific uh, writer's dashboard settings, basically. So just go to settings here. And basically, uh, it's going to allow us to uh, get the embed code and adjust how it's actually going to look like uh, also, which is going to be great. So we need to go ahead and search for it. You need to scroll down, um, which we will find uh, this right here, which is going to be the import. Uh, section which is going to allow us to import contacts but we don't really need to import contacts what we really need to do instead is um, how to embed the sign up form I used to say subscribe form but it's, it's pretty much the same thing so uh, how to embed or the embed code for the sign up form so we can actually go ahead and use this right here so we can just go ahead and select this and go ahead and copy so just go ahead and copy this and we we will go to the next step so sim simply once you actually copy the embed code from here let me just make sure i have it so once you copy that we will need to go to our squarespace account log in and get to the uh, page where we want to actually add the form we can create a new page uh, and name it uh, form but most of the time what you would want to do is uh, embed it to the footer uh, which is going to allow it to be shown in each uh, single page which is going to be a lot better but if you want we can just go ahead and add it to any other section so we can just go ahead to website click on edit uh, and then from here we can just go ahead and add a new section so i'm just going to add a new section maybe we can do it for the footer too but I'm just going to add section. I'm just going to add a blank section. Okay. And then here we would basically need to add a block. Uh, a block which is going to contain the code. So we can just go ahead to add block. And go to uh, select this one. Which is code. Now I believe there is a specific uh, plan that actually um, allows you to be able to embed the code so make sure you have that plan if not like if you don't find the code or ability to add code then maybe you don't really have the proper plan for it uh so we would want to click uh, or uh, click on g the letter g to show the grid which is going to be very helpful and basically uh, we have hello world which is going to be the default we want to change that so just click on edit uh, and then from here uh, basically, we would want to remove this entirely uh, until we see just add code and number one here. And just feel free to paste it, the code that we just had. It, uh, had. You can see here, adding JavaScript and uh, iframe embeds at, uh, is a premium feature. So you will need to actually upgrade to have this feature. But we can see exactly how it's actually going to look like for us here. So we can actually, uh, like, you know... Uh, see it move it around we can try to centralize it and we can see now that we have our form here now we can just go ahead and call it a day and by the way if you want to actually customize the colors for your sub stack because you know you can see that's purple for me 
uh, my profile picture and everything is going to show uh, and the form is going to look like this if you want to edit to these colors we can just go ahead to the substack home and actually just go ahead and change uh, the uh, branding colors which are going to be from the actual site itself so it's actually going to take the colors from uh, your sites and it's going to use it so just go ahead site design set the color here you can see it's going to basically affect the substack um, form and how it's actually going to look like so you can just go ahead to customize um, and just change it accordingly to within the branding here so we can actually go ahead and set up the accent color and the whip uh, background and it's going to really just affect the substack uh, form which is we are going to basically add so uh, basically we should actually go back in time now if you want to adjust the colors beforehand just go to this page change everything here the uh, background and the accent color uh, the accent color is going to be this and the background is obviously that uh, and just click on save and then go ahead and copy the actual code and it's going to make a difference so now that we have this we can actually go ahead and view it from mobile and it's going it's not going to look good because the code does have a problem which is uh, within the width so we want to actually edit that to make it proper because you can see it's really not looking good for the phone here so to adjust this accordingly and even adjust it for the desktop a little bit uh, is that we can just click on it click on the edits again and from the code itself we will need to go ahead and find width which should be right here which should say 480 which is the default and we really want to change that so we just locate width and just change the 480 to 100 percent and this way is just going to take exactly the space that it needs so we can just do 100 and then percent and it should be good to go now we can see that it really changed again and we can just go ahead and adjust it accordingly again so we can just change it back this way centralize it uh, but most importantly if we go to the phone app it actually, it actually just looks good now. It's not really cropped off. Nothing is um, like that. It's actually proper. And this is pretty much how to embed the um, sign up form for Substack in your Squarespace account. Like I said, you will unfortunately require to have the premium uh, plan uh, in order to in order for this to work. And yeah, we have the embed. And again, if you want to change colors, just change them from here. And it's just going to allow it to change. But you will need to go ahead and um, change it. Uh, I mean, copy the new code instead. So just click on save. Uh, go back. So wait, hold on a sec. After you save that, make sure you go ahead. And you can see now already the... Um, accent has been changed the accent color has been changed to yellow and just go ahead refresh uh, and copy the code and it actually should take that uh, and use it just make sure you change all the colors to becoming yellow and it's going to work so basically i hope that you found this video to be helpful because uh, this is pretty much all there is to it it's very simple just copy the code embed it and then make sure you have the width as 100 percent to make it work for mobile which is right here so with 100 percent and then then you just need to centralize it and you're good to go so i hope that you liked this video and found it to be helpful and thanks for watching